Hi, I'm Jody Mahoney, and I'm here today to tell you about my journey on the yogic path. In 2002, I took my very first yoga class, a few days after moving to Maui. And I was filled with this almost unbelievable, indescribable feeling of happiness. And I thought to myself, I want to feel like this all the time. So I started to practice yoga as often as I could. I immediately connected with my yoga teacher, Jennifer Lynn, who still inspires me to this day with her profound knowledge of the yogic philosophy and her ability to create themes that inspire me to grow and learn. Most often we come to the practice for the physical, to get stronger or to become more flexible. But the practice very quickly goes from the physical to the emotional. When I first came to the yogic practice, I cried often. I remember being in a long hold in a hip opener and tears would stream down my face and I really didn't know where they were coming from. I've come to learn that we store emotions and stories from our past deep inside of our body. And the practice of yoga helps us to open up our bodies and to open blocked areas and release emotions. Even though I would cry, I always left class feeling happy, light, and free. Our yoga practice helps us to deepen and lengthen our breath. And when we have a deep, full breath, it sends a calming energy to the central nervous system. When the central nervous system is calm, the rest of the body can heal itself. The deeper we breathe, the more relaxed we become, the more receptive our body is to change. A deep, full breath can help us to balance the left and right sides of the brain, the left and right sides of the body. A deep, full breath can send healing energy to all of our internal organs and systems. Our relationship with our breath is the most important aspect of our healthy and happy living. When we have a deep, full breath, something amazing happens. It's like a sparkling energy rises up from within us. This is our prana, our life force energy. The yoga practice helps us to strengthen our life force energy, and we become strong from deep inside. We have no control over what happens to us in any given day. What we do have control over is how we react to it. The yoga practice reminds us that as stressors come into our life, we have the choice to react or to not react. Our yoga practice is there for us when we face life challenges, challenges that everyone experiences, challenges with our health, in dealing with death, in dealing with unexpected circumstances, challenges in dealing with children, or stress at work. Our yoga practice is our greatest gift when we're faced with unexpected challenges. In 2008, my mom died suddenly, and that had to be the most difficult time in my life. My yoga practice gave me the strength to get through it. The yoga practice teaches us to be present, to be present when we're playing with our children, when we're sharing laughter and making memories with our friends, and to be present when we're faced with challenges. If you think about it, you can't really experience joy or happiness if you're not present, if you're not in the here and now. The yoga practice helps us to focus and to become present. And that focus brings a calmness to our mind and our body. Yoga gives us strength and flexibility. Strength to face the hardships that happen in life and flexibility to navigate through the challenges. I'm so grateful that I have found the practice of yoga that has brought me health and happiness and peace and joy and it's my greatest wish to share yoga with the world. If you want to step on the yoga path with me, check out my website at jodymahoney.com.